All right, we're going to work backwards for this problem, starting with the acceleration. We know that the acceleration in simple harmonic motion goes like negative omega squared x, which is the same as negative k over mx. So if we solve for k, we get k equals ax times m over x, which is equal to 14 times m with units of... Um, Uh, sorry, with units of newtons per meter. So the next step here is to work with the velocity. So Vx, we know, goes like plus minus root k over m, square root of a squared minus x squared. We rearrange this for a, we get that a equals the square root of mv squared over k plus x squared. So we can start plugging some stuff in. Um, since we have an m in our k and an m on top, we can cancel those out and we get the square root of 2.2 squared over 14 plus 0 0.6 squared, which equals 0 0.84. So that means we need to go 0 0.84 minus 0 0.6 equal to 0 0.24 meters further. Because 0 0.84 is the full amplitude, already at 0 0.6, so we only need to go 0 0.24 more.